Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rocky Balboa run where it's important to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only using rookies. Well, so far we've done not only a Rookie Balboa run but the Rookie Balboa 4 men uh, squad run and I'm wondering at this point in the game, <clears throat> I don't want to get cocky or... Uh, or um, switch gears but could we theoretically get further with just four rookies i am almost tempted to try to up the challenge a little bit but i hope i'm not going to eat my words so maybe just maybe we're going to uh, upgrade it who knows i'll try to stay in the game for as long as possible with four rookies first step there is operation witch mother difficult mission getting an engineer but that's exactly what we want. Um, this year <clears throat> would be very difficult and the sabotage transmitter is indeed uh, a nasty mission but uh, more so the dark event doesn't really matter that much and here is a protect the device mission so that's off limits anyways I don't want to play that. Aaron and Jaranks are going to uh, be team one. Uh, they are uh, nicely paired and have a bond level two <clears throat> and bubble and lyrical from the last mission are also having uh, a bond so they will join us as well got two mimic beacons i uh, added that le uh, that one uh, medical kit just in case and this time two times uh, blue screen rounds I think we need to upgrade the blue screen rounds uh, a little bit potentially if we had better chances to hit if we can get scopes more scopes that is i would not have a problem giving everybody blue screen rounds but as it stands uh, we got to pro uh, prioritize to hit over anything else all right let's jump into the mix and see how well this is going to go good and there we are we just landed it looks like a fantastic starting position seven turns and we even got the high ground uh, why would the game reward us uh, that much? Ordre bien reçu. Vais. Let's move up. Oh, okay, we got some losts. And how about moving over here? I like to move in aggressively from the get go. Okay, some more loss. Specifically since as long as we do have concealment, we have plus three movement and that really makes a large difference. The reason why I would want to use it is every single turn counts and we don't have a specialist, right? So we can't remote hack. Looks like over here. Oh, okay, well, even hostile as well. Uh, we can't remote hack, so we gotta get there, like physically. And that in itself is a is a tough ask these guys here are positioning themselves on top of the roof not too bad could we could work with that all right let me move to here and just out of curiosity be overwatch we explode that one of them will run forward potentially would get a kill okay so i would like to overwatch and let's get as much of this train destroyed as possible Nice, something crit. That is fantastic. Nice little hit. Not a kill, but a nice hit. Okay, and officially. The games have just opened. 
Six points of damage. We can one shot. Oh, it's another one shot. Okay, we do have the option to hand over with teamwork. I want to maybe save our Mimic Beacon for a bit later. Um, and the reason why I would want to take this shot is we do have a stock, so it's 100% kill. Very good. Let's continue with the Shield Bearer. Okay, cool. And that leaves us with one more enemy. 50-50? No, I would rather Overwatch. This guy will potentially run away. Yeah, was the last uh, was the last survivor, so there's a high chance that uh, he would simply run away. Oh boy, more enemies. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's happening down here? Why is there a codex? Why is there a codex? Something is inherently wrong if there is a codex in there. Target neutralized. Good, moving down to here. Don't want to peek. I think there is another pack in there. Okay. Let's spread out a tiny bit. Yeah, there th definitely there is a pack in there. Overwatch. Overwatch. Overwatch and Overwatch. Nice, an execution. Oh boy. Advanced Lancer with two armor. That's just nasty. Okay, more enemies just like that. We are definitely in a target rich environment, as I used to say. There is another pack. Hundred percent, yes. Good ranks here. We'll need to clean house. Let's get most of these dashers. our chance to hit this guy 72% okay maybe we can kill him in a different uh, way a Aaron takes up the slack here takes up the slack rather 
Um, and there was there was a big fat mech. So this is this is the earliest position here to flank. I hope this does not trigger. Hope only gets you so far. But we couldn't afford to go with a psionic bomb, so this here is a mandatory kill. Minimum dead. need to be upset so I can it happens happens to the best take more explosions that's just not gonna happen sixty percent the stun lancer needs to die first move over here explode that would lead to a lot of follow-up explosions and potentially even more loss I don't think that that's the better play it pains me to say but I think this is already the best play we could do Getting that heavy lancer. Done. This is going to be a mimic beacon. Two, four, six, seven. It's not even a hundred percent kill. Might as well reload beforehand. Get a few of these dashers down. Yep, 86% miss. Well, it's what it is. Reload. If we place it right here, both of uh, the codex, uh, codex, codexes should be able to see it. I am concerned with potential potential um, micro rockets flying in this direction. Take a shot, take a shot, don't take the micro rockets. Very good. Okay, he has plenty of targets. Certainly he will ch choose the lost. Okay, well, good for him. He sort of helps us here. points of damage okay all right they start to hurt three more turns I guess we need to take this one home
Okay, time to just get rid of as many of uh, those losses as possible. In the last shot, he's actually killing someone. We got a Mimic Beacon. It's another resort. Okay, before we're wasting those shots, this here is blue screen rounds, right? Right. All right. A hit. Kill confirmed. Another hit. Very good. So far, my um, mental, um, my mental uh, tricks worked. The game listened to me. Fantastic. That was an important kill. Okay, move up to here. Mm. This is 100% kill thanks to the stock. We charge to here. That should be okay, shouldn't it? The other option is charging to here, but this leaves a flank wide open. This, however, is a good position to move in. It's, di it's difficult. This here should be good enough for next turn to move in. This is the safest place. We can't afford getting killed. Okay, so far so good. This trooper here is now out of ammunition, if I'm uh, uh, counting correctly. Yep. This is ammunition. That could have been bad. Okay, so far so good. Ready to rock. Good look, I mean, we could move all the way to here and we even have uh, the teamwork ability, right? That's actually not too bad. Time to kill. And ranks just penetrates all of them. Okay, that didn't work out as expected. Alright, moving up a bit closer. He 
Is he going to flee? Is he going to run back? That's a good question. Do we have enough hit points for a direct hit? We do. He's not fleeing. He's going to take a shot at us. There's the direct hit I was talking about. But I needed to go in because the network tower shutdown is imminent. Oh boy, another... okay. Well, we do have a Mimic Beacon, don't we? Attempting connection. Good, just barely, barely going for this play. 3% for enemy protocol. If that would... if that would... no. 20, 20 hacking stat would mean he would become, like, the new hacker of the group. So, moving a tiny bit forward, this gives us sight. Even if we miss, it's two, two points of damage. Good hit. question is do we need that right now or should i just withdraw in this direction we're using a mimic beacon and are calling it a day We're moving further back. I want to pull the troops together. And all three of them should be able to see the Mimic Beacon. I don't know if they are going to do anything with it, but it's not a bad idea. Uh, rocket Launcher would be wasted for just one. I would instead overwatch in case he moves any closer. Eight points of damage. Luckily, that did not hit us. That should be a failed binding. No, that was actually a killed beacon. Hmm. Ouch. This should be poison. Yeah, hate to say it, but that was predictable. On the other hand, our Overwatch trap worked out well. And these guys can deal with the loss next turn. I don't want to do anything. Uh, I don't want to have to do anything with them. Wait, they got me. Okay, well. Look. What's what's a decent play? This here, this here potentially is the best play that we could uh, that we could have. It's really just withdrawing. Doesn't matter that we're poisoned, because I got just what you need. Aaron gets cured and next turn we can fall back just a tiny bit more it's 
Shall I move up here? You know, potentially this one here is the much, much safer choice, and I'm going to take that super low opening, and we still get a decent shot against the Archon. Nice little hit, four points of damage. Okay. Rocket launcher, not needed yet, not needed yet. Instead, we're overwatching. That's a nice hit. What? How far did he just fly? Holy shit! Are you serious? He was back here. Okay, so he was... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Because that is actually a bit infuriating. This guy was back here. And he flew more than a double move. Just to get a melee attack off. Hmm? I've never seen that. That looks suspicious. Wow. Wow. Let's get the dashers. Enemies down. Target eliminated. Burn into ammo fast. Got so much for the dashers. Reload. Hate to say it, but that Archon really defied the laws of uh, the game. It's a satisfying kill, but it would have been more satisfying if you wouldn't have, if I wouldn't feel uh, cheated by it just like moving incredible amounts of uh, distance. Okay, moving over here, I soon want to move up here and then we'll take shots against the Vipers. Alright, Vipers bind them down. And they get retaliated upon. Moving on target location. Focusing on the Viper. And it's gone. Bit better chance to hit. The Viper is far enough away that we can risk standing in the open. But the 80% shot is a miss. Nah, still don't. Uh, still not interested in taking an uh, taking an explosion. Okay, we've we really lost someone from, uh, from that Archon. I am still baffled. Not that he was actually killed afterwards, because with the low hit points, that was a logical consequence. But that I didn't have it uh, foreseen it. That uh, is irritating.
Good, Jereng still continues to kill a lot of lots. And we're moving up further. But this guy will take some more time until he arrives. In the meantime, this is 100% kill thanks to our stock. And this is hopefully a softening up. Yep. Yeah. Very well. Softening up worked. Fantastic. Good, we're moving up. This should be a flanking shot against the Viper and hopefully a kill. Nope. Adjusting aim. Dead in the water here. Let's do this. Taking a nice little reload and an overwatch. Viper continues with its true and tried strategy of continuing to bind and bind and bind. Ah, uh, more loss. I'm just trying to kill the Viper so that we can withdraw to this high ground and let the loss uh, come to us. Good. Keep them coming. This loss is down. Sixty-six percent. Come on. Finally. Worked like a plan. And we are moving up here. Next thing you know is every single lost will charge at us. And I sincerely hope it was the last the last um, pack of enemies. Because with three rookies and zero cooldowns, we, we just got one set of explosives more. But other than that, we're empty. Out. Good. Let's move over here. Moving out. So okay, okay, it takes an overwatch, and we generally should be fine. Uh, now all of them should run into our direction, and hopefully this is the end of this forsaken mission. Which costs it one of our uh, mm, rookies his life. And the guy was b a bond mate. I think it, uh, his name was Universal, if I'm not mistaken. Dranks keeps on killing we are I, I think we've killed like a hundred of them Always feels like a hundred. Overwatch, Overwatch. Please, not another swarm.
If we could kill all of them this turn, that would be fantastic, because I think that would end the mission. Good. Dranks keeps on killing. He was on this rooftop the entire mission. And I think he has... He himself has, like, killed 30, 40 of the enemies. Okay, fantastic. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Well, 60 overall. And we lost the rookie. God damn it. Very good. So, unfortunately, we lost you, Bubble, not Universe. Bubble, good job. You did well, and there is absolutely no shame uh, in the performance. He did fantastic. Unfortunately for us, uh, the Archon did even more fantastic. All right. What a mission. One for the... For the uh, for the history books. Advent Sealed Armor. That's a nasty uh, event. Makes them immune to basically everything. And look at that. Soldier Bond available. At the moment that uh, we can get that, uh, A.A. Ren and Jarangs can be level 3, which makes them the prime team. I almost would want to keep them safe, because... Level 3 uh, bonds are quite powerful. Adventure power, do we need that? I think we need to make contact. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Very good. Health increased for uh, for Roby. Fantastic. Sign a covert action. Do we have anything? Doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. Well, it was great. Thank you. A few more days and uh, we get an influx of resources and we can then finally build um, more contacts. And there is finally, finally the plasma rifle upgrade we were so much looking for. Mutant autopsy instantaneous, yes please. Could go for a plasma grenade, but really I don't know if it is needed. So... Experimental weapons, not a bad idea to deal uh, with uh, the... Uh, alien rulers specifically the other thing is the turret breakdown powered armor needs more larium uh, we could do that give me a second sign research now let's go for the data pad and we do have enough intel. We're getting even more. So let's purchase that uh, Elarium because I, I want to have armor upgrades. An armor upgrade would have saved us from the uh, from that one shot uh, that the uh, that the Archon did in the last mission. So Elarium crystal it is. Yes, please. Don't need any of that. Superior hair trigger wouldn't be bad. Anything that can give us extra actions is appreciated. So this would still allow me to make contact immediately. And it's it's a great loot item. 15% chance. You have destroyed a vessel of the Elder's wisdom. And with it 
good. We're going to get South America now. At the same time, I am wondering if the Alarium Breakthrough has gotten us other options. So, Resistance Ring, can we upgrade that further? No, we can't. Proving Ground. Plasma Grenades are nice, but we're not using them at the moment. We don't need them. We're rather using heavy weapons, so I would focus on heavy weapons. By the way, since so many people have recovered from wounds, let me suggest... Upgrade bond number, uh, bond level two there. Okay, great. We're their only line of defense. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or where? A it, wait, 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 wait. Unstaffed engineer. Okay, that shouldn't happen. We can start construction on the shadow chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. Good. Very good. So, let's move on. I cannot imagine this way. Chosen no longer suffer from any weakness. Hmm. It's getting better and better. Alright. In return, we got the Shredder gun. That's not bad. I like it. How many... How many cores do we have? One more. Nah, nah. Not going to waste that. The Shredder gun is good. We're going to keep that. And I'll just leave it be for now. Oh, uh, that isn't bad either. We're getting Elerium and Alois from here. Maybe even a core, if if we're playing it right. Uh, however, the assassin very likely, like it's even red and blinking. She will likely be on this mission, very likely. So, three more days and we get resistance network. Then we can immediately jump over. Is there an alien in here? No. No. Okay. And we also, I mean, theoretically, we could make contact here. Technical analysis is great. Uh, rapid collection, by the way, isn't bad either. We get uh, our monthly supplies automatically collected. A technical analysis could help us uh, m massively. But for now, the biggest problem is still three missions are over. So we are either seeing the Chosen here or we're seeing uh, the alien ruler. Which he's uh, the Viper King still had two thirds of his hit points left over. Well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Right? Well, we're going to see about that. Okay, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, now's the right time to smash that button like Hulk smashes uh, uh, the little uh, God of Thunder Loki. And uh, leave a comment and, uh, uh, and a good uh, question down below. I would like to chat with you. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye-bye.